Now imagine if he had a wig. I mean, other than the plugs. Let's say a wig and was wearing a dress and stuffed some tissue paper in a bra and walked around like a, a woman. And let's imagine he was a Republican, maybe even a conservative. What do you think they'd be saying about plugs then? Oh, he's such a stupid woman. He's such a moronic woman. Oh, well, these extremists, these, these women like Josephine Biden. Oh, you just like Josephine because of her looks. That's all, because there's really nothing upstairs. That Josephine Biden. This guy's a dumbass. All right, I said it. It's true. Dumb, dumb, and dumb. And there he is, Vice President of the United States. He was dumb in college. He was dumb in law school. He was dumb in the U.S. Senate. And he's dumb as Vice President. Because dumb is dumb. And there he is, campaigning, trashing Christine O'Donnell, who actually knows what the First Amendment says. Trashing Sharon Angle actually knows what the First Amendment says. And he's campaigning for a man who's even dumber than he is. Harry Reid. I don't know what they had to stoke him up on for that, that debate. Everybody says he was horrible. Yes, he was horrible. But for Harry Reid, he was actually good. Because he didn't go on stage with cream of wheat dripping down his chin. I mean... They dare to talk about our conservative candidates and their intelligence and their competencies and look who they have out there attacking us. It's like this disgusting slob Bill Clinton. That's right, a disgusting slob. Out there campaigning. They have him out on the campaign trails. He's so popular. Popular with who, perverts? Everyone knows wherever that jerk goes, they lose. So send them all over the damn place. Just keep your daughters locked up. Look at the freak show that's on the left. Look at the freak show that is the Democrat Party. You got an impeached pervert who lost his law license for five years and was held in contempt by a federal judge. That's their great hero, B.J. Bill Jefferson Clinton. You've got a president of the United States right now that has more communist and anti-American ties than any president, any, all the presidents in American history. Oh, he's historic. He's so smart. He's a radical left-wing nut. That's what he is. There, I said it. Look at their vice president. My God, stupid. Worse than stupid. Oh, he's got all this experience. Yeah, we're going to divide Iraq into three parts. Genius. And a pathological liar. Always has been. Running around campaigning. What does Obama say? Best decision I ever made, picking that guy. Probably was. So we have all these freaks, perverts, Marxists, Morons on the left, and they attack us. We're extremists. Something's wrong with us. Yes, yeah, something's wrong with us. We're not buying into you people. And there's something wrong with us, ladies and gentlemen, because we stand for the Constitution, and we really are smoking these people out now. Well, do you stand for the Constitution as written, or the Constitution as interpreted today? Excuse me? Like I've said before, that's like asking, do you, do you stand for the terms and conditions in your mortgage as it was written, or the terms and conditions as they've evolved today? The hell are you talking about? It says what it says. And if it's not that clear, I have to figure out what was meant at the time it was entered into. That's called the social contract. So, yes, that's our plan. That's our pledge. That's our contract. As I've said a zillion times before, it's the United States Constitution, and the left hates it. And they hate it because it defines the boundaries of their power, and they're power-hungry. 
You see, here's the fact. The left cannot abide the Constitution because the Constitution rejects their statism. As a matter of fact, the revolution was fought to reject their form of statism. So they have to detest the Constitution. They have to reject the founding. They have to reject the Declaration of Independence. And they only accept what is today. What they've created today. And even then it's not enough. 